But start from the beginning. It is safe to start from the beginning of the text, what this character has chosen to do. There, there is this part when Mosi is explaining all about Ted. He tells us a lot about Ted, even in terms of education, even in terms of career, and all his other behaviors. Now you go, uh, every choice and what consequence do you think it would cost? Then now look at him as a character and tell us, do you like him or not and why or why not? And of course you'll be basing on character traits for that. You exhaust one character trait, you go to another. Mm -hmm. Here you are. Ramdai. Ramdai. What have you already explored? Why have you started with that instead of, I told you to start with choices and consequences. What choices does Ramdai make in the text from the beginning? Why do you think these choices are wrong? Do you have particular consequences of such choices? Like when Mayor, is, Mayor Mosi is explaining to Nicole some of the choices Ramdai has made. What are these choices? Maybe about his career. Maybe about his uh, behavior generally. How does he handle the public resources? What are the consequences of his choices? So before you get to characters and characterization, because that is not our focus in paper three. We are focusing on the book to see what choices Ramdaya makes that are good and which rewards would he possibly have. And if there are negative choices, what are the effects? Like what impact does he face? You see an example of what does Maya tell us, by the way, about Ramdaya? What does he do? Yes? He conducts business with his family. Yeah, so he has uh, had to favor his family and he conducts business with his families, those who are immediate and distant. And what is the effect of that? There, there are two consequences. One is direct to himself. Another one is to the citizens of Maracas. His choices affect citizens because when he's doing that, then those who deserve to get those uh, tenders do not receive them. And therefore, it is like he has captured the state. He's receiving everything. And if uh, most of those family members, because they know they're related to him, they don't work to the perfect. They receive money, but they don't work to the best way. If you look at the other end, where does it end him to? When the app exposes him, what happens? Yeah? Yes? But before you say jail, can you follow the procedure of uh, that anxiety that faces them once they are aware that the Samaritan app has exposed them? They fear. They can't sit in peace. They have to meet, they have to plan of how to overcome who? Mosi. And then at the end of it, they have again to meet and reconcile and plan on how to get resources to fight. And then when they are going to see Nicole, they are arrested. And in the process, you can see there are so many other choices, like deciding to gift Nicole. There is that choice of um, deciding to meet in, in town so that they turn over who? Mosi. Do we have consequences for that? Which one? Well, what happened to them, Ramdaya, Ted, and the, the group? They were ambushed and they were almost killed because we can hear them talking about stones that were almost hitting their heads, running around, you know. You can imagine a whole governor running or an MCA. Yeah, so go for that first, then you will finally look at what are the characters, like personalities. Do we like this person generally? You as a student, when you look at Ramdaya, do you love him? Why not? Then now you look at those character traits, like when he's corrupt, explore corrupt. If he's greedy, explore everything about. Yeah. That's how I want you to go by it. Before you go to the character traits, start with the choices and their consequences. So that when you are presenting in class, 
other students should see what you know about Bembe, all that you know about Bembe. And you must start with choices, consequences. If it's a positive one, reward. A negative one, punishment. And again, you should start with who is Ramdai, so that some students don't know what Ram, who Ramdai is. So you should know who is Ramdai in the municipality, who is he. Yeah. Your group is? Harvester. Harvester. What have you already found out? Anyone choice that is wrong? And either a reward or punishment? Yeah? How are you approaching it? I thought that's what we agreed. Yeah? No, we are not handling characters. I told you this is paper three book. We are not handling character and character traits. We start with what wrong choices and right choices do these people make? And in each, what reward or what punishment do they receive? Before we get to see now, what is the personality of this person? And when we look at personality, we are not focusing just on character traits, as you are saying, but we are looking at the person as a whole. Then in each case, if you are exploring character traits, you go into details and say, these are, are likable personalities of this person. On the other hand, these are positive, because Harvester has both positive and negative. So you must go for that. Don't just go the way we handle it in paper two. So what one example do you know that Harvester made that was wrong? For example, a choice. You are using the chapter by chapter, you find you are just shallowly opening pages and saying this is this corrupt, you, you pick one point and that's enough, no. Yeah, now the time is up, we'll have to go back to class, but we really have to work. By Friday, we should be having all those points with us.